I'm not nervous, this is fine. Um, I had barely gotten in, weaseled my way off the wait list a mere week before high school graduation. I screamed, I laughed, and aggressively Facebook status in celebration. I called my mom on her drive home and she had to pull over so she could cry, fighting back tears to sneak out the words, Allie, I'm so proud of you. Penn was my dream school. My freshman year, I ate up literary theory books and Middle East journals in awe of the beautiful architecture and spiral staircase of my new second bedroom, Fisher Fine Arts Library. I began working at the Kelly Writers House and met authors and poets I had only heard of in high school. I was so thankful for a space that felt like home when college felt so new and scary and foreign. I was accepted into Off the Beat, a premier a cappella group at Penn, and immediately enrolled in a music theory class so I could help arrange our pieces. I even did a bit of theater with my mom flying out for the weekend shows and sleeping in my twin bed snuggled up beside me to avoid paying for a hotel. In short, my freshman year was ideal. Soon, however, that life seemed to dissolve. To keep a long story very, very short, my parents divorced in the summer before my sophomore year. They assured me that everything would be fine, finances, the house, our relationships, our resources. But the divorce took its toll and my father stopped contributing toward my education, calling it a luxury. When I heard from my mom that we might not be able to afford Penn and that I might not be coming back for my sophomore year, it seemed all of a sudden that freshman year would be a blip. All I had started to build would remain unfinished. It was the most depressing news I had ever heard because I felt myself becoming something here, someone here, and I was only just getting started. As I pondered my new reality, I reflected on my studies. I had read memoirs of young girls in Afghanistan who had never been to school, their opportunity taken away by the Taliban. And I was in the process of applying to study in the Czech Republic, where not long ago, writers like Milan Kundra had to work and teach in secret under communist rule. These realities made me upset. They angered me. They made me realize learning meant so much to me. I always felt so lucky to be at Penn. I was working toward a major and two minors, but I was also writing and reading music, performing in the vagina monologues, raising money for Philadelphia's only rape crisis center, learning how to manage my acapella group's finances, and meeting tons of new and engaged people every single day. Without the financial means to stay at Penn, I would not only lose my Penn education, but also all of the outside learning that came with it, the growing and the self-discovery. Later that semester, I stopped worrying. Penn Student Financial Services, and in particular my advisor Susan, made it their mission to keep me in school. The financial aid team who worked on my file and my class of 1954 scholarship donors, these are the people I have to thank for everything I've accomplished here. Sorry, I knew this was gonna happen. Shit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep going. They let me finish what I had started my freshman. Sorry, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, they let me finish what I had started my freshman year and I continued to explore even more opportunities beyond the classroom. I started writing for Penn's largest blog as a senior just to pursue my love of writing and I even auditioned for the television show The Voice as a solo artist through connections in my acapella group. I worked seven jobs my sophomore summer to fund my trip to Prague where more adventures came my way many of which involved late, my, late night McDonald's and street sausage, so I probably shouldn't share them here. I worked hard that summer, and Student Financial Services worked hard that year because my education was not a luxury, and neither is yours. Okay, 
My mom and brother came to bed this semester to watch me act in the vagina monologues one last time. My mom flew to Philly to watch me sing in my Off the Beat show and is always the first person to post my Under the Button articles on her Facebook page. Penn was such a partner in making my past four years a reality. My family and I are so thankful to this university, its generous donors, and the financial aid team for helping me <laughs> to keep me at this amazing, magical place where all my real dreams really did come true. I'm leaving now. 